Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyTabHacks.com So today we're going to learn to install a uh, Ubuntu Linux CH rooted on top of your tablet device. This is great because um, you don't need to replace your whole Android. You can keep the Android uh, and have Ubuntu basically running like a virtual machine. So first you'll go want to go to settings, applications, and uncheck USB debugging. You have to remove the cable first. Make sure that's off, that way you can connect it as disk drive. And then connect your USB cable to your computer. And you go to the Samsung Keys mode. And go download the Ubuntu.zip file. And then unzip it to, uh, it's going to unzip it to a folder called Ubuntu. And uh, Samsung Keys brought me this, so I'll open it and go to your tablet and cop this is the Ubuntu file I was talking about I'll have links where you can get it and when you unzip it you'll just get a folder with a bunch of these files uh, and copy over the whole folder to the root directory of your um, Galaxy Tab 10.1 which I've already did so let me double check yes all the files are there and then you're good to go now what you want to do is uh, Take your USB thing out and uh, re-enable USB debugging. All right, and then stick that back in. All right. Next, uh, if you don't have ADB, uh, download my adb.zip and unzip it to the root folder of your uh, C directory, like I did. Just easy to find when you get into command prompt. So I have this adb.exe. So we're going to open up command prompt and go do cd backslash adb. Sorry, my, I have Korean font in there. That's why it's all funky. Because it's actually backslash like this. And you have adb. And make sure you have Samsung Galaxy Tab drivers installed. And then we're going to do adb um, shell. Right, so we're in shell. And uh, you can do su just to make sure you're su. And go cd slash sd card. And ls shows you what files you have. Too many files here. Uh, and go to cd ubuntu, right? We'll do another ls minus l, which should show you all the files. And uh, next, what we'll do is um, we'll run the ubuntu.sh script. So do sh and ubuntu.sh, like that. All right, so ignore all this stuff. Um, it's just removing it in case you do it twice, it's trying to remove the directories. But I think it works, so let's try boot Ubuntu. And hopefully we'll get a new, brand new Linux uh, command thingy. And then we've got Ubuntu running. So three, two, one. Oh yeah, got it. See that? Oh yeah. So we're at root at local host. So all I'm wondering is, you know, I wish it could run on my tablet device pretty fast. Next, we have to uh, install some stuff. So let's go do that. Um, first of all, you want to do uh, apt get update. Uh, this will update everything. This is the uh, Okay, everything's done there. <clears throat> and then you can install uh, OpenSSH server, which is, you know, so you can have, you can, you know, log into it anytime uh, remotely, uh, not via command line. You can do that. I have instruction on my, my site, so you can check it out. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll install type VNC server so we can access it from our tablet device. So do apt, oops, do apt get install tight VNC server all right and say yes this is actually working it seems pretty fast I'm just wondering how fast the uh, VNC's will run
So, <clears throat> uh oh, what happened? No, it just says password didn't exist. Um, it should be fine. Updating. So it did install. But you can try it again, just in case. If you think it didn't install, I'll say it's it's already installed. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> and then uh, let's do. Let's do this. Um, hmm. Let's type cat uh, slash root. Uh, oops. Slash no no cat. You know what? Just copy over and paste what I have on my site. <laughs> I'm just gonna copy and paste like that. Cat like that. Oops. What happened? No, hold on. You know what? You can skip the LXD step. Just do export, oops. Export user okay. and root like that. All right, and then we're gonna do VNC server. We're gonna start the VNC server. Um, dash geometry. Um, <clears throat> our tablet device is 12 by 800. So let's do it exactly like that. And it's gonna ask you type password, so I'm just gonna do um, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, you can enter view only password, but I'm just gonna say no. Just hit enter. Okay, so our server is running. Um, you can do if config to figure out what the address is. Oh, actually, you know what? It's just gonna be localhost. But you can connect it from your, uh, you can do if config, it'll show you 192.168.3.199. That's the address you can connect to. You gotta connect to the port 5901, and uh, you can connect it from your computer. Actually, well, no, let me connect it on my tablet device. It's more fun that way. Hi, all folks. So we're gonna go download a VNC program. Um, let me get, unplug this real quick. Cause it's kind of getting in the way. And go search for uh, Android VNC. Android uh, VNC. Um, install this one. That's pretty good. All of them are pretty good. It's free. And uh, okay. And we're just gonna go try to connect it um, via localhost 5901 with our password 123456. So that's done. Um, so nickname tab and password is 123456. Address is 127.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 one, this is the local host. You're just basically connecting back into Ubuntu um, via VNC 5901 and colors. Let's do 24 bit colors so it looks nice. Um, I guess that's it. So let's try to connect. And voila, voila, baby. We've got Ubuntu. Now the question is how well it will run, because on my smartphones it didn't run too well. Um, it's actually a little bit bigger the screen. But uh, let's go run up some stuff here. It's actually a little bit laggy, I think. Darn it. See, I thought the fast, faster processors would solve this problem, um, but I think there's a limit, I guess. Well, it's kind of loading up, kind of slow, but the internet works. Uh, let's go type. Let's go type something on Google. Actually, you know, I have to fix the keyboard. 
because there is no keyboard here right now. Oh, input mode. Um, touchpad, no. Oh, let's go to the latest headlines. Then we don't have to type anything. But it looks really clear. The screen looks awesome um, because it's actually running at 1280 by 800. And I might hook up my Bluetooth mouse. See if I can do better. So hold on. Let me go hook up my my Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. Hi, all folks. So I've got it connected. My Manotech waterproof uh, keyboard, which I highly recommend. You can it's waterproof and you can go. And I've got the uh, Microsoft mouse, so my mouse cursor is running. So let me go back to my uh, Ubuntu and see if we can do this for real. And it's got this functionality. But now I can use the mouse. Check it out. It's a full functioning Linux Linux box. Kind of slow, but. Let me open up Shell, maybe that will run faster. Because I don't really use browser on a Linux system anyways. I think Shell should be a lot faster. So I've got my Bluetooth keyboard. Um, uh oh. So I'm getting a bogus thing. Let me go fix that. It's, it's just a settings thing, so I'll be back. Hi all folks, so I've got my Bluetooth and mouse working and I've got the keyboard fixed. Um, so I'm in Shell and actually um, you can see the top, it shows the process is running on my Galaxy Tab. Um, actually it runs pretty nicely. Uh, my keyboard's working, um, you know, just the graphics are slow because it's all running off the same memory. but. You know, if you're into like hacking stuff and you know, connect using your SSH, actually, this is not a bad idea, it's kind of fun actually. Um, oops, LS, there we go. Hello, there, my flawless. Oops, ah, this keyboard's kind of small. My Flawless. You know, if I if I had the tab on top of me like this, let me. Well, anyway, I got it working, and my keyboard is working flawlessly. Um, and one. Let's check. Test out the one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, zero. And my mouse is working, so it's like a little computer within a computer. I mean, your tablet's already a computer, but. It's nice to see, but I don't think Flash works. Um, I don't think they have Flash for this. They might. Uh, let me see if they do. So. Oh, well, not really. Let me see if I can go down here. Hmm. Um, there's YouTube downloaders. <laughs> well, we'll have to see. I'm sure there's a way to make it work. But for now, we've got the uh, browser working. It's definitely running much faster and than my on my G2 phone for example and also it's more usable because the screen now you can see it like you know 1280 by 800 um, I freaking love this now I'll go check the news real quick um, so it's kinda like the Atrix 4G except you don't have the dock and you don't have the uh, this one's actually CH rooted, but the speed I think it's about the same. I have the Atrix 4G dock, and it's it's not it's it's pretty much it's maybe a little bit faster than this. 
Um, so for Linux to run on Android, I think we still have long ways to go. But uh, it's a good thing now I can actually you know play around with it. Um, I'm running full Ubuntu made for ARM ports. I hope they you know they make it all better. Anyway, I'm gonna go um, update this. That was how to install Ubuntu on your uh, Galaxy Tab, and I'll have full instructions. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same as my original version. Um, but I did have that keyboard hack, and also you have to change the resolution to be a little bit higher. Um, but I, I love it. So, see y'all later.